David Burns has been looking for gold in these mountains at the historic Humbug mining site and ghost town for over 25 years. David. Hi, darling. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Joseph. How are you doing? Thanks for nice having day. us. Yeah, this is great. You guys want to go pan some gold? Yeah, I'm Let's ready. Let's go. Okay. So what are all these old buildings? Uh, these buildings, the ones that are double adobe with the stucco on them, were from about 1920. When did people start coming here? Oh, the first guy to live here, 1882. So at the peak of the mining operations here, how many people would have been here? About 200 people living right in here. Wow. Do you think they found all the gold that's here? Oh, no way. All right. They did find <laughs> all that was showing on the surface. I can guarantee that there isn't anything showing on the surface here because I looked. <laughs> So we're going to dig a little deeper then. You've yeah. been digging a little deeper. But finding the gold now takes hard work. Let's do it. So David, what is this whole thing we have here? Okay, this is called a suction dredge. That's so you can suck up sand and gravel from the creek, run it through that larger hose, and up into the sluice box. So it's sort of like we're vacuuming out the creek here, huh? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you can't get a guy to vacuum at home, but bring him down here to the creek and you can't get him to stop. <laughs> we start to suck up the black sand and rocks from the creek floor so that we can find some gold. Okay, let's go over and take a look at the sluice box. So David, how often do you find gold here? Oh, most of the time I find a little bit, but not very often do you find a lot. <laughs> David removes the contents of the sluice box. What you do is you bend this carpet back. It opens up the fibers and lets the material in between fall out. And begins to separate the gold from the creek's black sand. Uh, this is a hard job, this looking for gold. Um, my advice is if you want to be a prospector and look for gold, keep your day job. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, here we go. There's a couple of, there's a couple of nice ones coming out there. Gold is so pretty. Oh, isn't it? <laughs> Especially when you first see it in the pan. Who doesn't like finding gold? David sure does. It keeps him at this old ghost town in the mountains, continuing his search for more. Hey, darling, here's some gold I got a couple of years ago. Wow. Hit, hit a nice little pocket. How, how long did it take you to collect this? Oh, a couple of weekends. But uh, it doesn't work like that every time. But there's still hope. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> there's always hope. <laughs> That's what prospectors live on. 